Hello everyone, this is Alex USA Days, uh, and today we're going to have a little exercise with ChatGPT answering one of the questions. Um, I'm going to answer it first and then let uh, ChatGPT answer and uh, we're going to discuss that. So the question is, why can't developers do testing and why QA is needed? So uh, first of all, developers can and they do test, right? But their testing is all only limited most of the time only limited to like unit testing some integration testing and it's really focused around the code that they write uh, oftentimes they don't really see the product uh, overall as a whole system and they work on just the parts of the system so their testing is very limited and when you start bringing the pieces together things gonna break um, and issues gonna arise when you start bringing in different environments and discovering you know uh, user behaviors that were not intended you're gonna find a lot of issues that developers wouldn't normally cover uh, another thing that if developers uh, could write a code without bugs they would right but because they can't uh, they will always introduce some issues unknowingly right uh, and i'm saying this not to say hey developers uh, can't write code without any issues certainly they can have perfect code right but there are a lot of unknown unknowns that developers can't predict or uh uncover just because they wrote the thing right uh if they would know that the issue is there they would definitely open a bug on it uh if not they're just gonna go through the acceptance criteria uh make sure uh that it does what it should do based on their understanding and then once it gets to production uh, all of a sudden you realize the application is not doing exactly what it's supposed to do and uh, there's some issues that were missed or uh, some other parts of application uh, got broken because of the new implementation uh, so aside from QA engineer doing their main job uh, verifying product and keeping the level of quality um, competitive uh, QA engineers also bring to the table communication and they often serve as a communication bridge between development and product uh, they talk with developers a lot on uh, the features and how those features are implemented while they'll test they also talk about the product asking questions uh, clarifying making sure that the acceptance criteria are uh, exactly reflecting what the product should be doing there's a lot of understanding of how the product should work based on uh, developers perspective on product perspective and also on users perspective so having no qa on team can lead to a product that um, tries to push features as much as possible as often as possible without uh, taking care of the quality of the product taking hacky solutions or something that is not robust uh, building technical debt and in the end uh, you will be faced with some major issues that are hard to fix uh, very expensive to fix and will cost you users millions of dollars and essentially you know your user base kind of shifting and moving to a product that has more a uh, sustainable level of quality if you think about products that you use every day you can find those examples uh daily some products are forced on you by companies like you let's say you want uh this is a joke about uh microsoft edge that for a long time it served just as a browser that installs other browsers even though it maybe got better over the years but uh, the reputation was uh so bad that people normally would not use it or if you think about some other brands uh, that, let's say, Google Maps versus Apple Maps, uh, which one is used more, which one more popular, even though there's a good majority of iPhone users, uh, oftentimes they go and install Google Maps or other uh, products like Waze or other navigation products uh, because they're used to those brands, uh, because those products keep a certain level of quality, and there are no surprises like missed locations or app crashing um, or the address is showing some somewhere else and you can't really get a proper direction and so on and once the user sticks to the product the only thing that can move user from one product to another from one brand to another if a uh, level of quality is dropping and it's not properly addressed okay so qa helps uh to prevent this all right, so now let's go and check with ChatGPT 
Now let's ask uh, ChatGPT the same question. So why can't developers do testing and why QA is needed? Um, okay, so developers can and should perform testing as part of their development process. Uh, however, having dedicated quality assurance team is still important for several reasons. Uh, firstly, developers are typically focused on building the product and may not have the same perspective on how users will interact with it. Uh, QA teams, on the other hand, are dedicated to ensuring the product meets the user's expectations and requirements. They can provide an unbiased view of the product and can identify potential issues that may not have been considered by the development team. So yeah, this is covering the gap of understanding how apps should work from the user's perspective. Secondly, QA have specialized skills and tools for testing and debugging software. They can create detailed test plans and test cases that cover various scenarios and edge cases that developers may not have considered. Additionally, they can automate testing tools to perform repetitive tests and identify issues quickly. Um, that's also true. Finally, having a separate QA team helps ensure the independence of the testing process. Developers may overlook issues in their own code due to biases or assumptions about how it should work. Having a separate QA team helps to ensure that any issues are identified and resolved before the product is released to the public. In summary, while developers should perform testing as part of their development process, having dedicated QA team is still important for ensuring the product meets the user's expectation. Uh, identified potential issues and providing an independent view of the testing process. So I think there are a couple of things that are missing here. Uh, we can also think about compliance and QA engineers in the field working 10, 20 years in one field, uh, maybe banking or financial fields. There are a lot of compliance uh, in the industry. So overall knowledge of the industry and understanding of the product's uh, behavior and what is expected from the product is important and QA can't provide this, right? Um, developers might be coming from different industries just because they know the stack, they might get on board, but not necessarily they get to have an overall understanding. Uh, I feel like there's maybe not enough points here. So let, uh, let's ask to add more reasons. So I, I think that it's maybe lacking and I think there should be additional reasons um the chat gpt could provide okay sure here are some additional reasons why developers alone cannot do all the testing and why qa team is um necessary time constraints so developers are already working on tight schedules to meet deadlines and may not have enough time to perform thorough testing dedicated qa team is can focus solely on testing which will ensure that all possible issues are identified before the product is released. That is true. So if developers focused on finishing product on time, they might even cut corners just to consider, hey, uh, I need to finish it. I'm going to say it's tested, but not even maybe on purpose to cut corners, but uh, in order to get the product released, they might not think of some additional scenarios that are possible to test. Objectivity. Developers may become too attached to their code and may overlook issues or defects. QA team are impartial and can objectively analyze the software to identify any issues uh, that the developers may have missed, okay? Skill set. While developers have knowledge of programming and software development, they may not have specialized skills in software testing. QA teams are trained in different testing techniques and can identify issues more efficiently. Scope of testing. Okay, so uh, developers may not always have a clear understanding of the different scenarios in which the software may be used, which could lead to missing critical use cases in the testing. QA teams can create test scenarios that cover a wide range of user scenarios, ensuring that the software works as expected in all situations. And the one that I've been talking about here is compliance. In many industries, compliance with regulations and standards is mandatory. Dedicated QA team can ensure that uh, the software complies with all relevant regulations and standards, which may be overlooked by developers. Uh, in summary, while developers play an important role in testing software, dedicated QA team can bring objectivity, specialized skills, compliance, and comprehensive testing to ensure that the software meets the highest standards of quality. Right? Uh, I can only uh, reemphasize and kind of uh, repeat myself here all of those points are great are awesome uh but 
from my experience and maybe your experience as a QA engineers as well, uh, you might find many times that you are in fact serving communication as communication bridge between product and development. And by your effort, you kind of bring things together. And sometimes not only just between product and developers, you might uh, be also serving as a communication bridge between front end and back end development to make sure that the features actually see uh, the whole uh, release and there are no issues introduced by either side. So um, that being said, I think if you want your product uh, to be successful on the market uh, as a, a business or a tech uh, industry, you definitely want to consider having a dedicated QA team. Otherwise, uh, you will push developers to do too much work, develop and test, uh, still applying very tight uh, release frames, uh, release dates. Uh, and this will result in buggy software that won't be able to compete with other products that do the similar thing, but are properly tested and keep their quality at a certain level. Okay, so hopefully this helps. Uh, this was Alex USA Days. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.